Another way to search pins is to use the category. So you can search by category. We have the main 33 main categories within Pinterest in here. And all you have to do is go to pins, select category. Then you can select how many pins per category you would like to extract. So let's just go ahead and extract, let's say three categories like that. And then all we have to do is just click search. And so the first thing it's gonna do, it's gonna go and get all the pins for those first three categories initially. So there were 60, and now it's gonna go through each individual pin and um, extract the data for each one. And again, it's extracting over 46, 47 different data metrics for each and every one. And you do have the control. If you click on settings at the top here, you can select um, how many download threads you'd like. So I usually like keep it around five, but depending on your internet connection, you can go all the way up to 15, but I find between five and 10 is enough. You can see how fast it was to get 60 pins. And remember, look at all this data we're getting for all those pins. It's quite incredible. So now what we can do is we can actually see which pins in those categories were the best. I do have to um, mention that um, we're not logged into our account. So this is just coming from Pinterest as if you were not logged into Pinterest. So everyone knows that when you're on Pinterest, um, it sort of caters to what you like to view on Pinterest. So it kind of, once you're logged into your account, it will all be sort of focused around your interests of what you've been browsing on Pinterest. Well, this has nothing to do with that. So we're not logged into Pinterest at all. It's just grabbing the data it just gives us for those categories. So it's a different way of searching, but there is a way to search those pins within your feed, and that'll be another video. That's using the browse and scrape technology, but for now, let's just focus on this. And so again, you can use the little slider down here to see the images really quickly. And I've explained in, in another video there on the keyword search on what all this data means. It's quite self-explanatory. But I guess the most important ones here are the fact is how well the um, the video or the pins are doing. So the saves, repins, then the reactions. And these All these pins didn't get, actually get that many reactions. Oh, this one did at the very top there. So let's check out what that one is. Little kitten sucking thumb. <laughs> that is pretty cute. So this is just a quick and easy, simple way to extract pins for any category in the category here. So if you don't want to be searching with keywords, this is another option we've integrated into the software. So that's how you use the category search tool.